Hello everybody, welcome to another video, two minute revision on structure and form in poetry and you know that the long detailed grade line analysis of each poem can be found in my AQA Power and Conflict playlist, so check those out. But you guys have been asking for more detailed, or I should say the opposite of detailed, quick and concise videos on structure and form and today we're going to do that having a look at the poem Poppies. So in terms of form, the poem is a dramatic monologue. Weir is writing in character, addressing her son, a soldier, with the word you. We don't hear from him, which makes it a dramatic monologue where somebody speaks to somebody else who is silent. And perhaps the fact that the dramatic monologue form is used emphasises how this poem is about the pain caused for the often ignored mother, emphasising how the soldier is not there. He perhaps is dead or just absent. That's open to debate. In terms of structure, well, there is free verse. The uh, poem doesn't have any regular rhyme or rhythm. The stanza lengths are different. There's enjambment, where the sentences continue over the lines in the poem. There's cesura, where lines are stopped with uh, full stops in the middle of the poem and other uh, types of punctuation. And all of this together creates a chaotic structure, which, of course, reflects the chaos in, and the chaotic impact of conflict on those at home. A couple of other points, there's enjambment between the stanzas on the felt line, and Weir herself said if one is to grieve, one has to at some point let it dissolve. So the structure breaks here to reflect how the mother herself is breaking. So those are points on form and on structure, and you'll see that in many of the power and conflict poems there are similarities, uh, particularly with this idea of lots of enjambment, cesura, different stanza length. Lots of the poems use a chaotic structure to reflect the chaos and the uncontrollable nature of war and conflict.